what I learned is Albert Einstein said that compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world, meaning if you get started young enough mm -hmm. and you let the power of compound interest in your yes. investments go to work for you, then after about you know, 15, 20 years, it just becomes turbocharged. And you can become a millionaire, even on a fairly modest income. So, you know, what I've Five dollars a day, uh, or even less than that. That's the exact figure that I was calculating. How'd you know yeah, that? It, well, I was just working on a script to try to figure out how to reach children and or adults, right, that have kids. And yes. exactly that. If you start the day they're born and you, you get them in that first 18 years going, so you're not doing that when you're starting at 20, then the super, supercharge just starts at age 20 when everyone else is... Probably yes. not even starting yet. Yeah. yeah. Well, so and how do, you, I was, how do you get that out and tell people? Well, by things like the conversation we're having right now, and yeah. the figure I came up with was 150 bucks a month, which is five. Yes, bucks a five dollars a day. Yeah. yeah. And if you, you know, the long-term stock market, it returns about 10% a year if you just put it in a nice safe index fund. And if you start in investing $150 a month. After I wrote down the numbers, after 15 years, you'd have $67,000. That's pretty good. But after 30 years, you would have $339,000. And once you get a little older and make a little more money, you can invest more than that $5 a day. Maybe you could invest mm -hmm. $10 a day. And all of a sudden, you're going to be a millionaire before you know it. And, and that's the message that you know, I love to share with people that even if you have a fairly modest income, if you are disciplined and if you start young enough and if you do it on a consistent basis, pay yourself first. We always talk about instead of paying off your bills, instead of going out to eat with your friends, if you just put that money aside for yourself, you're going to be a millionaire before you know it. And to me, and I don't mean this to sound crass, but you get freedom once you have some mm -hmm. financial security. Until you have that financial security, you're always beholden to other people, whether it's your yeah. employer or the government or whoever. Now you can have some freedom over your life. And to me, there are few gifts more powerful than that. And you learned about compounding interest in that book that, what was it called? The eight seeds? Well, it, the book was called the 10 seeds of greatness. And that was okay. about goal setting, but I really started researching it myself. I'd go to the library and all I knew was I wanted my family to have more than what I had when I was a mm -hmm. kid. Cause you know, we'd have our electric cut off and our phone, be, phone would be cut off and all that stuff. And I didn't want to raise a family with those kinds of pressures. And so I started researching it myself. And I have you know, long said that if I wasn't a radio talk show host, I would love to be a very specific kind of financial advisor. And that's one who works with parents and their kids mm -hmm. and just get not only this message out there, but to start developing a plan so that, you know, if somebody's got a, a summer job, where they can just put away half their paycheck and then, you know, have fun with the other half. If you start doing that when you're 13, 14 years old, you're going to be amazed at how free you will be before you know it. Yeah, I was. It's so funny. You did the five dollars like I did. I was just um, as I was working on on my numbers. If if you can start this for your children at when they're born and then my figures around Dory's too, I did a 7% interest, but when they're 18 there, they have, you know, around the $60,000. But let's say that that child continues to invest on their own, the $5 a day mm -hmm. until normal retirement age, they will have over $2 million. Whereas a normal person, yep. I think, starts investing around age 30, they're going to have the Sixty to two hundred thousand dollars, maybe. So it's it's amazing the difference. And a stat I found just fascinating as I was doing this was that um, it was out of University of Cambridge. Is that they found that money ha habits in children are formed by the time they're seven years old. 
Oh, that boy. That just was staggering, I thought. Like, oh, my gosh, I have a 10-year-old and an 8-year-old, and I already missed it, right? Like, what if, but they're just watching us. They're watching whatever they're around. Yep. But I love that, Dory, that you want to be, like, a family and with the children and help them invest. And if someone could go out to our local schools and talk in the high schools or even junior high, like, it would be that's, I mean, I just got lucky. You were so smart, Dory, to go in and read and do this on your own. Like most people don't have that, whatever that is inside to find that. I just happened to fall into a class at age 22 and everyone around me was 50 and they were freaking yeah. out. And I was like, oh, I guess I better start this now. Right. So um, good on you for doing that. But um yeah, it's, this is, it's phenomenal once people understand it. It can change your life and your, just your whole generational wealth, right? For your family. Absolutely. And you know, I'll give you another example of the power of starting early. Uh, there, I, I'm not a big fan of many, maybe most government programs, but uh, the state of Washington has what's called the GET program, which is prepaid college tuition. And my wife and I started doing that when our three daughters were born. And college tuition, it can be really imposing for parents. It's intimidating because mm -hmm. how are you going to come up with, you know, the 40000 a year? And if you have three kids like we have, but... We started when they were born and we started putting away a couple hundred bucks a month. And by the time they were 18, because of that power of starting early, my wife and I were able to prepay our kids in wow. state college tuition. And, and so in so many aspects of our life, whether it's investing for ourselves, getting our kids college tuition going, or like you're talking about, Stacey, about uh, getting your kids just into that mentality at an early age, mm -hmm. all of those things uh, help build a foundation for, for us to take control of our own lives. And I think ultimately that's what we're all looking for. We want to have some control over our lives and not feel like we're some cork in the river that just goes wherever the current takes us. Yep. And, and that's my message is, you know, Keith, you can, you can take control of your life. 